News for people who can't stand the news. Hey guys, how you doing? Check it out. Have you seen the tweet that Trump sent out yesterday? The one about crime statistics? <laughs> Yo, yo, to me, this is hilarious. I love it. I love it. It's so funny to me, man. It's so inaccurate. It's so implausible. It's just funny, man. But you know what's not so funny? And all these people who retweeted it. Like 7,000 people retweeted this tweet. They didn't fact check. They didn't look up the government agency. They did nothing. They didn't even add up the numbers. Listen, 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 listen. I'm not talking about your average Twitter user. You know, racist, goofy Twitter user. Knuckles dragging on the floor. Haven't been outside in weeks. Not that guy. I'm talking about all the people with shows. People, people in the public arena, media arena. These people who just retweeted it. Didn't look up this place and find out that there is no such thing as the, uh, what is it, the Crime Statistics Bureau of San Francisco. They would have found out it doesn't exist. That would have took you all of 30 seconds to find out on Google or Yahoo. But nah, you don't have to double check figures. You don't have to double check agencies. This goes to show what kind of information you probably put out there on a daily basis. You don't check shit. What is also funny, 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 ha, ha, ha. I mean, not funny, ha, ha, but funny like scary funny is that how could you think that an entity could have numbers for 2015 when we're still in 2015? You get what I'm saying? 2015 was our best year ever. You're still in 2015. 2015 is our best year ever. It will be. It doesn't make sense, man. 2015, I had a lot of fun. Well, it ain't over yet. How do you know? You could die. You could get hit by a car. Something bad could happen. You could catch the clap. I didn't think of it that way. But all of these people, people with talk shows, like I told you, people with talk shows, people with blogs, people who vlog, all these people. And I'm just saying, guys, you need to start looking at who you listen to. Look who you listen to and see if they do their due diligence. The funniest part, though, of this whole thing, and this is a funny ha-ha, right? Is that Trump didn't come back and say, my bad. Oops. I screwed up. Hell no. To be Trump means you never have to say you're sorry. Being Trump means you never have to apologize. Being Trump means it don't matter if you're wrong. Why? Because you're trolling. You're trolling, you're trolling, you're trolling. Man, it's going to be hilarious. We're going to look back on these days and laugh our asses off because you know what? We're going to find out what I already know. Trump was never serious. It's the world's most clever scheme. Look up P.T. Barnum. Get to know him. That's all Trump is doing. <laughs> a government agency that doesn't exist with numbers that don't make sense and 7,000 of you retweeted it and stood behind it and talked crap see this is what's wrong with black people numbers all wrong just wrong <laughs> but, but, but black people did this and black people did that you are an idiot you were wrong now you have to defend being wrong Sucks to be you. I see you, dum-dum. Good job, dum-dum. <laughs> oh, no, dum-dum. Heavens to Murgatroyd, dum-dum. <laughs> Goofy, man. Feel me? People are stupid. Morons. Yeah, morons. Yeah.